Hey guys, welcome to another video. So in this video, I wanna kinda of discuss what I bring with me when I go traveling for work and I happen to get the opportunity to go out and do some street photography while I'm out, wherever it is I am for work. Now, as you guys know, I love going on the street and taking images of people, but when it comes to traveling, I tend to feel you need to be more specific in what you're gonna bring it's because of limitations, right? And limitations, I feel, always help you create more. So when it comes to traveling, the, the biggest thing that helps me determine what I'm gonna do, of course, is what I'm traveling for, what it is for the work event that I'm gonna have to do, um, how much time I think I'm gonna have available for me to go out after the work event and do some photography, transportation, getting to locations, all of that comes into play. So the first part of it that I feel you definitely wanna look at is, is well, what's your opportunity for capturing images where you're at when you're done with the work event. The second thing that I look at when I try to determine what it is I'm gonna bring is what I wanna shoot with, how simple I wanna keep it, again, depending on where I think I'm able to go. And now that I'm in downtown Dallas, this is perfect you know, for me to go out with something as simple as the X100V as it is, without the conversion lenses, just shooting 35 mil equivalent on a full frame, point and shoot, got it to my hand. I'll have my nice little strap here that I will put on there for added security while I'm walking around, getting some images, getting some video with this wonderful camera, keeping it simple so I can basically maneuver without any concern, if you will, because I am in a different area. And, and again, part of the first part of what I said is, is you wanna know the area, how secure you think you're gonna be. And second again would be, you know, I know that I wanna keep it simple here and have my gear close and tight to me, have the gear simple and not be fumbling with a lot of stuff while I'm out going ahead and getting some images. So the second thing for me would be when considering the gear after you looked at all of that other stuff with location is whether you wanna keep it simple or whether you wanna, you can go a little bit more in gear because of where you're at and the security and, and the subjects that you're gonna be going after, right? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> the other thing I bring with me because I'm a content creator is something else to help me capture me capturing the content, right? That's what us YouTubers do. So right now I'm actually filming the talking head piece for this video on the Pocket Osmo 3. Um, I just picked it up and this is actually me testing it out right now for the first YouTube video for the channel. Um, again, for those new to the channel, I am Warren C. I do street photography mainly. And this channel is about me going out and doing street photography with my Fuji gear. Welcome to the channel, all the new subscribers, and thank you for the continued support for the existing subscribers. So as I digress and go back into it, the other thing I do is I wanna make sure I'm bringing something to match the, 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 the gear that I'm gonna actually shoot and create with. And for me, the GoPro has been an integral part of that. But recently I've been having issues with the batteries, like most people, uh, most recent is, is it'll be a full battery and the GoPro will see it and then it will just shut off because it doesn't see it. So it's not that the, and then all of a sudden it shows that the battery is empty, even though the battery isn't. So I don't know what's going on there. I'm hoping GoPro will see what folks are starting to put on their support page, come out with some something to help that. But in the meanwhile, I went to the Osmo Pocket 3 for a number of reasons. The biggest one is what you guys are seeing now is one, it's a gimbal stabilized camera and it's following me. Uh, there's no extra I need to do to this. I don't need to get a, a gimbal with some type of sensor on it that'll follow me with a camera attached. This thing is very pocketable, very versatile, very easy to handle and deal with. So that's the other thing. I'll bring gear that's gonna match the size and functionality for me, but that whatever that level of discreteness, if you will, I wanna, I wanna apply to my actual gear I'm gonna get images with. I want to also try to apply to the gear that I'm going to show me getting that information, creating that, that content, if you will, for the channel. So right now I have the Osmo Pocket 3 and it's working great right now. After that, the next thing really is the bag. Um, 
I gotta make sure that for my trip, I'm not just packing for me to go out and do photography, but I'm also packing for my work trip. So I have a Timba bag here and I'll put in the comments what the actual style of this bag is, but this is it right here. I'll move back so you can see it. And uh, there it is right there. It has three pockets, one, two, three, I should say compartments. The biggest one is where the laptop goes. And also you could put my iPad in there, but I don't, I generally just put my laptop in there. The, f the cool thing about this bag that I got, and I, and I love that I saw the ad for it for, on Timba's website, is that it comes with a travel bag for your camera gear, for a small camera setup. So for me, if I decide I wanted something a little bit more extravagant than my X100V, and what I mean by that is it's something with interchangeable lenses, I would literally pack my XS20 in with a lens or two in that and bring that instead of my X100V to go around and shoot. And the cool part is it's a bag so I with a strap. And so I could take that bag with me. It has compartments in it. Now, unfortunately, I don't have it with me because it wasn't part of my planning for this trip. But I, I'll, again, put the, the links to it, show some pictures of it. I love this bag. This bag is, is worked for me in a number of ways, not just for work related trips, but also for personal where I've been able to use this bag to carry for two functions, a work related function in this case and a personal function of going out and doing some street photography where um, I'm traveling to go work. The middle compartment is where I have a lot of the power supply solutions and cords and things and it's where my iPad goes and my journals that I use for work and for personal. And then the very last smaller compartment right here is where I put the knickknacks to work with my laptops from you know, memory cards to uh, portable, or I should say mouse, uh, travel mouse that I have, to my actual Bellroy uh, passport holder that also holds a lot, some other business cards and other things that I like to have all together when I travel. So that, along with a Molly system in the front where I can attach more stuff to it to make it more versatile, it's great. The side compartment has one on each side, but this one is a zip one, and that's where my X100V goes. And on the other side right here is where you can put bottles and stuff, and it has an elastic stretch to it. And this bag is awesome. It stands up on its own. It comes with a rain cover, but I've, I've seen it hold off rain pretty nicely without the rain cover, so I don't even keep the rain cover in it anymore. And um, I really like that bag. It's it doing everything I needed to do. That would be the linchpin for traveling for me and the type of gear that I bring. Other than that, that's it. Um, when it comes to traveling and wanting to do photography, I generally tend to keep it simple with either the X100V or the XS20 with a lens or two. Um, and if I bring the XS20, I'll use that bag. I'll either have the Osmo Pocket 3 now for the talking headpiece and some uh, POV, or I'll have the GoPro with me, if not both, because they're both small. And again, to get talking head and POV and such. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Like I said earlier in the, video, in the middle of the video on the promo of the channel, tell me what you think about what I set up, my setup is, and let me know what your setup is for those, for those that definitely go and travel and also try to get in some street photography or photography for personal gratification while they're out on a business trip. With that, you guys have a great, great rest of your week, great weekend, and I'll see you guys on the next video.